No one likes no crusty lips. Oh no no. Hola everyone, what is up? It's Edgar. Welcome back to my canal. Or if this is your first time here, hola, welcome to my channel. Bueno, aquí estamos de regreso con otro nuevo video And as always, you already know It's thick and juicy Because if it ain't thick and juicy What's the opposite of thick and juicy? Delgadito y seco? Oh no, girl, that's not cute Uh-uh, mm-mm, No, none of that for me So in today's video, I'm going to be comparing two products That do the same thing, but they have different price points And one is, I guess you could say, an OG And one is a new girl on the blog So the two products that I'm going to be comparing is the Skin Perfecting Potion from Dragon Booty. And then we're gonna be comparing it to the LA Girl Orange Corrector. One's a little bouge and one's really, really friendly to your pocket. But do they work the same? Do they do the same thing? Or are you just being scammed for your money? This should be a fairly interesting video because I'm a man, Mari. It's a man. Orange Corrector has definitely become an integral part of my routine. So today, side by side, we're going to be putting them to the test and see which is better. Better. Now before we get started, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below Click the little notification bell so you guys get notified whenever I upload brand new thick and juicy videos And of course, please feel free to leave your comments questions concerns down in the comments below I love to hear your feedback if you guys do enjoy the video anytime throughout Please give me a big thumbs up It really helps me out and lets me know you guys are enjoying the videos And if you happen to be new here, I do give away makeup care packages in every single video at the end So if you want to find out how to enter and possibly win a makeup care package for yourself so stick tuned until the end. Let's get into this video. I hope, oh my God, me voy a persinar porque... Let me move las greñas out of the way because anything can happen in this video. I'm ready to be shook. I'm ready to be disappointed. I'm ready to be impressed. Possibly find a new favorite. I don't know what's gonna happen in this video, but let's go ahead and open this up. Ooh. Come on, Dragon Beauty, live your fantasy. So I already actually opened this up. I haven't used it. I just opened it up because I did an unboxing on IG stories. If you don't follow me on Instagram, don't be fake. Don't be fake. Go follow me. I post a bunch of makeup inspo, some a little bit of fashion. Let me just take everything out of the box. Dragon Beauty, it's a cute little pamphlet that basically tells you like step-by-step step how to use it and all that. And then we have... Miss Nikita Dragon it says, hi dragons. Hi dragons, hi dragons, hi dragons. Fire heart fantasy. I poured my heart and soul into these products and I want to thank you for joining me in this fantasy. Breathe fire, XOXO Nikita. Oh damn, that was a little aggressive. Love you Nikita. <laughs> oh, and then in here, oh, we got some the money. I'll probably go to like Taco Bell and try to spend this later. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen me use the LA Girl Corrector, especially if you watched my Flawless Summer Makeup Routine for Oily and Acne Skin. I'll do a little insert right here. If you guys haven't seen it, go watch it. I have been using- oh, oh my god. So yeah, y'all have seen me use this before, but it's going to be my first time using- <laughs> First time using Dragon Booty because- did not purchase this. I got this sent as PR, by the way. And also, I don't remember if I purchased this, but LA Girl sends me PR. But whenever I just run out of LA Girl, I just go buy a new one. Got an email from the Dragon Beauty social team, and they were like, we hope you enjoy your dragon egg. We're like, we can't wait to see your transformations. And I was just like, where's my dragon egg? Like, girl, the only huevos I've seen are, um, <laughs> the only huevos I've seen is when I've had, like, ramen or some huevos on salchicha that I've had, you know, for breakfast. I haven't seen no dragon huevo arrive to my house. But a couple of days ago, one of my neighbors at my old apartment was like, hey, you got a package. And I drove over to my old place and picked up the box. I was shocked to see that I had received a package from Dragon Beauty. Don't know how they got my address. Don't really care though. I'm really grateful that they sent this over. Yeah, my dragon egg was sent to my old stomping grounds, but we got her now. But if you're new here, I do not care. If stuff is free, if I buy it with my own money, I don't freaking care. Aquí no importa. We don't even keep it 100, y'all. We keep it 200. It doesn't really matter if I buy stuff or I get it for free. My reviews are always honest because I want y'all to know the truth. So yeah, getting right into it, obviously the LA Girl Concealer is just basic, cute. Y'all have seen this. It's been around for years. Just being straight up, when I first saw Nikita announce this, I I was really excited. I thought it was really cool. At the same time, I thought that it was definitely a little bit gimmicky, but now having it here in person, it definitely makes sense. I get like the 
full story now. So that's a really nice hard plastic egg on the bottom. A cute little detail, Dragon Beauty, dragonbeauty.com. Brack her open. Oh my God, imagine some yolk falls out. <laughs> Here are Skin Perfecting Potion and our Skin Perfect, is that what it's the powder? Dragon Heart Transformation Powder. Really nice felt inside that holds them. So let me just go ahead and take that out. The Dragon Fire Skin Perfecting Potion is $25 and the powder is 35. However, if you guys get the kit, it's 55 bucks. So that's a savings of Five dollars. Then you also get the cool dragon egg with it. The skin perfecting potion on its own, it's twenty five plus the six in shipping is thirty one plus like two dollars in taxes. So the skin perfecting potion alone is about thirty three dollars after taxes and shipping. And the LA Girl one is five dollars on the LA Girl website, but after shipping, shipping's a little pricey. It's eight dollars. So this comes out to thirteen. If you even happen to have like a beauty supply or something, I know they definitely will carry LA Girl, so you can save on the shipping. Dragon Beauty is not yet available in stores it's only an e-commerce options as far as the content there is 0.13 fluid ounces in the dragon beauty one and in the la girl one there is oh in the LA Girl one, there is 0.28 ounces. You would think that they have almost the same amount of product considering they're literally the same size. You're getting double the amount of product in the LA Girl one. That's honestly really interesting. I thought it would be around the same amount of product. And then when it comes to the packaging, this one is just like a little soft plastic, nothing special, with a little sort of brush applicator on the end. And then the Dragon Beauty one is actually really nicely packaged. It's in a clear sort of like lip gloss tube component. Dragon Beauty here, it has a really nice holographic detail overlaid with the white cap. And then opening it up, it has sort of that doe foot concealer lip gloss applicator. Now, as far as the shades, they're obviously both orange. However, we know there's different shades of orange, like there's 50 shades of black. Hay diferentes tonos de naranja. So here is the LA girl one. Mm, interesting. So this one right here is the Dragon Beauty one and then this one is the LA girl one. The Dragon Beauty one is definitely a lot more of a deeper terracotta orange. Now one other major thing that is likely contributing into the drastic price difference is the ingredients of the products. As you guys have seen in my previous videos, particularly comparing like two different palettes, you kind of get what you pay for in a sense that sometimes when you spend a little less, it's not as good and spending a little more definitely shows when the final result is done. So just reading straight off of the site of Dragon Beauty, it says that it's infused with light reflecting mattifying powders to brighten and blur, and the formula diffuses imperfections to create a photo filtered fantasy. It's saturated with vitamin E, A, and it's fully customizable light to full coverage. The only things that really stand out from the LA Girl one are beeswax, and also apart from the beeswax is the camellia extract. Other than that, nothing else really stands out. Okay, so now let's get right into it. Sorry, I know some people are like, oh my God, you talk too much, but it's like, do you want me to half-ass this information? Because sometimes makeup companies are not direct with it, even if it's an influencer-owned brand. I try to fill y'all in on everything, not just as good, as good, as bad, as bad, yes, that matters as well, but you need to know a little bit of the backstory because sometimes that can play a huge factor into how the products play out. So I like to just distribute a little bit of the LA Girl one, although it does have a little applicator on here. I feel like it's just hard because you have to squish it for it to come out. That way putting it on here really allows me to control. So because I already know how this one works, I'm gonna start off first with this one. I like to go here. I literally have not had a breakout in so long and I had to get one for filming today. So I like to go in the beard area. And then I also like to go in the under eye area as well. I'm quickly going to blend it in with the same method that I use, and that's been a MAC 252 flat brush. In the little pamphlet that comes with Dragon Beauty, it does say to use a flat brush like this, and I have seen Nikita or when Glavin Tech Steven is doing her makeup, this is exactly how they apply it. Um, so I'm applying the LA Girl one the same way. Now, if you are Latina or si eres Latino, y'all will know that sometimes five o'clock shadow is stay playing us, and particularly me, I just Shade before this video and you can still kind of see like stubble trying to come through even though like I can't feel anything on here when I first started putting on makeup particularly on social media I did the orange corrector yes because I knew it worked but it was more of kind of for like the thumbnails but during the past couple months I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or what it is my five o'clock shadow is just large and in charge regardless if I put on freaking clown cake face drag makeup my five o'clock shadow will try to pop through and it's just not cute now I don't have another of the same brush so let me just 
para que luego no digan que oh my god, the same brush. So there's no orange coming out anymore. Now going in with Dragon Beauty, I love right away that there is an applicator on here because it just makes everything. Oh, you see now you see the difference in the color. But yeah, a little applicator is very much so appreciated. And then oh, I need to dip in for a little more product. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, so that was super quick and easy. Now let's go ahead, exactly like the other side, start blending her out. Right away, I can definitely feel the difference. For this, I'm not requiring barely any force. It's blending out really, really easy. I think that's definitely all the oils and the shea butter and all that being put into this. Yeah, particularly under the eyes, I feel the difference. Like this is not sucking at my skin. Remember how the LA Girl one was lighter in color? Now when I apply it on my face, I hope this picks up well on camera. All blended in, the Dragon Beauty one is a lot more of a neutral. Looks a lot more like a straight up orange. Whereas the LA Girl one, it's a lot deeper. Now, as far as the finish goes, the LA Girl one, without a doubt, is drier. It's grabbing onto the texture of like my beard area. Also, my under eyes do look a little more crunchy and the Dragon Beauty one, it, there is still like a little bit of texture because I just have a beard like that's inevitable. Under my eyes, there's no lines that are necessarily being accentuated. So yeah, upon first glance, the Dragon Beauty one just feels a little bit better and it's also sitting a lot better on the skin. However, what I'm going to do now is apply my foundation because as you know, what goes under the foundation, your skincare, your base, your correctors, all of that really plays a vital role into the overall finished look of your makeup. So let me go ahead and apply all my base. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty and the Too Faced concealer as well. All right, y'all, I am back. I popped on some bronzer, a little bit of shimmer on the lids, you know, some lashes, a little bit of loco teardrop. Now, under my eyes, you guys saw I was baking a little bit, so I just dusted off the powder, but I actually want to try the Dragon Beauty Transformation Powder now. After I dust away the bake from my under eyes, I usually like to go in with a powder, but it's usually a foundation powder. I really like the Benefit Hello Flawless Powder or like the MAC Studio Fix. I have used several powders before that, just like these, they were intended to brighten, but I didn't particularly like the finish that they had because I felt like, well, they did brighten. They didn't necessarily give me that like pop, like a pop, 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 pop. <laughs> All right, cool. So there are both eyes fully done. Now, take a look for yourself before I give you guys my thoughts. This is Dragon Beauty and this is LA Girl. So personally, from a distance, I can tell the difference in the brightness, meaning that the side where I use the Dragon Beauty it looks just a little bit brighter right here in my mustache area and where I have darkness right here around my mouth. It just looks a tad bit brighter. Now, if I get up close and personal, as far as the texture, I feel like the LA Girl side just looks a little bit crunchy. And again, I've never really noticed an issue with the LA Girl one, but like now comparing it to the Dragon Beauty one, it, it's definitely apparent. So what that kind of tells me is that one, you don't really need, I mean like, Unless you want to pick it up, you don't have anything like this or a lighter powder foundation. I really wanted the review to be about the correctors, not about the powder. It's a nice addition, but it's definitely not necessary. Now, as far as my review for the corrector, one, upon application, it definitely felt super silky. It didn't tug on my skin. It had a really nice finish. Obviously now side by side, I can see this side looks a little bit smoother and I read on the side it was infused with like soft matte powder. So I think that's definitely 
the powders in effect. I believe that the Dragon Beauty corrector will be a lot more suitable for different skin tones, different skin types, and also genders because uh, obviously women do not have the same texture as male skin. Female skin is a lot softer, a lot smoother, but men have beer texture. We have overall just more of a rough sort of finish of the skin. The Shea Butter and all the hydrating ingredients really do make a difference when it comes to the overall result as in when I finish powdering and layering on several different products on top as well. So now to the initial point of the video, is the LA Girl Corrector better than the Dragon Beauty Concealer? $5, $25. I think this is another one of the situations, like you guys saw me compare palettes not that long ago here on my channel. You hands down get what you pay for. Because like for me now, seeing both side by side, I know I will always reach for the Dragon Beauty one. Although it is about $20 more, I do color correct whether I'm doing a natural beat, whether I'm doing super glam, it really doesn't matter what I am doing, I always color correct. So I think the Dragon Beauty Skin Perfecting Potion is definitely worth the investment and I do recommend it over the Ellie Girl. Overall, I feel like this is just going to be a lot better for a larger amount of people. I think this is going to be very, very beneficial to people of color color latinas boys if you're a boy in makeup you need this so my final verdict is it worth the 20 extra dollars yeah, it is, it is. The Dragon Beauty Corrector is just overall more well-rounded in every single aspect, but I couldn't think of a better person to put out something like this, and I'm glad there was someone that did it, or else I would have been using my LA Girl Corrector for the rest of my life. Congrats to Nikita Dragon on formulating a great product and having a successful line. I'm really excited to see what Dragon Beauty launches in the near future. I'm sure they're going to expand on a full color line, and I'm so ready for that because Nikita's high maintenance, so I could only only expect such high quality from the product so I'm definitely going to be looking forward to that and you can definitely bet I'll be reviewing all future Dragon Beauty launches here on my channel as well. Alright so now that we've done the review it's time for a giveaway as you guys know I give away a makeup care package in every single video one lucky person will win a makeup care package from me. All you have to do to enter to enter the makeup giveaway and possibly win a care package for yourself is be subscribed to my channel, click the little notification bell, let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about the video and also most importantly leave your Instagram handle because that's how I'll be getting in touch with you guys and give me a big thumbs up so I know you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure to check me out on Instagram because that's where I'll be announcing the winner and getting in touch with you guys. And also I do post stuff there like on the regular a lot more than I do here on YouTube. So make sure you check me out there. Check me out on Twitter, on Facebook. I'm at Edgar's Makeup everywhere on the internet. But yeah, that is everything for me today, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much, as always, for spending your time here with me today. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.